guys. So today I have another Shein haul to show you today. So I have three separate orders. So let's get into it. I think I have nine items. Yeah. Okay. So the first one I paid $2.86 for and I used 64 cents in points. And it was originally $3.50. And this, let me show you the picture first. <clears throat> it is called a Easy Dryer Vonnet. So, <laughs> this, I guess, goes on your head. And then you just adjust it to fit your head size. And then the end of your hair dryer. Why is that all dirty looking? Ew! Is this used? Ew. I don't know if I want to put that on my head if someone else used it. But that's kind of gross. Okay, so the end of your hair dryer goes on this part. And then it comes through and it's supposed to dry your hair like that. You put all your hair up in this part and it's supposed to dry your hair. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if I bought it so much as the practical use for it because I mean, just blow drying my hair. Um, <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not that tasking, but I kind of just bought it just to see if it would work. So, um, I can do a separate video on this if you guys would like just to show you if it works. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a video of testing this out. I'm going to see if I can try to clean the end of that, but, um, yeah. And then it comes with like instructions and stuff. Sorry. My dog, if you heard my dog, he's barking at the cat. Um, oh, so you can put your hair in like curlers and use this and it'll dry your curlers. Um, so that's kind of cool. So it says, this is the most convenient way to set or perm your hair for the latest styles. Also, the bonnet can be used for deep conditioning, hot oil, and heat treatments. Gently place bonnet over all rollers. Connect the elastic end to the hair dryer's nozzle. Switch hair dryer on lower setting to avoid overheating. Hmm. So maybe I can try it with those curlers that I got. And it'll like save me like hours of ha having to keep them in for hours for my hair to dry. So maybe I will do a video um, doing that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that. But anyways, my next order I spent ten forty one, and I used a dollar forty nine in points. So okay, the first thing that I got I paid four dollars for. Oh, and this, I actually ordered another one that's coming in my next order. So this, I paid $4 for it. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Um, where is the opening? Here we go. This is something that's going to make my life a little more easier. Oops. What's that? So this is a spice rack kind of thing. Oh, that's what these are. And these are sticky things that you stick on the back of each one. And then you stick it to your wall, your cabinets, your whatever. I think I might stick this on the outside of my cabinets so I have more cabinet space. And I think you can like remove these just in case you want to use like one. But I'm just going to keep this. And then I have another group of five coming as well that I'm going to put right under it so I can put my spices in them. 
so I can see my spices really easily when I'm cooking. I only grabbed four. I should have grabbed five, huh? And then I'm going to hang it on the outside of the cabinet door so that I have more cabinet space where my spaces are right my, where my spices are right now because right now that cabinet is just packed to the max and I have to like sift through a whole bunch of stuff to find the spices I'm looking for. So all these little um this size spice jars I can just keep on the outside of the door so that when I'm cooking all I need to do is just look right at the door and be like, hey, I need some cumin. I'm gonna pull that out, use it, put it right back. And I don't even need to like lay it, sit it on my counter to use it again. I can just keep, yeah. This is gonna make my life so much easier and I'm so excited and I hope these stick well. Um, in my next video where the next one comes, um, I'll already have this one hanging and in use and I can let you know um, how well it's been working and whatnot. So I'm super excited so I can hang 10 spices up. Um, depending on how many spices I accumulate, <laughs> I might buy a third one and just have all my spices just right there, right next to my stove where I'm cooking. So this for $4, so convenient and I'm so excited about it. So next up, I needed a new set of these and I actually found these on the like, um, I had, okay, so I had a set of pink ones saved with three less spoons and cups um, that I added to my cart, but then I went and looked at the like, the daily deals or whatever, the um, flash sales, and I found these for 50 cents more that had more spoons and cups in them than the one that I had saved. So I um, took that one out of my cart and added this one. And this is a set of measuring spoons and cups. And they were $3.50. Let me get my scissors out because these are zip tied together. All right, so these actually have the good measurements on these. Okay, I did buy a set from like Wish or something like that that had the measurements on them, but they were in like Chinese measurements where they, they have different measurements than we do in the US. But this actually has one eighth teaspoon, then a one fourth teaspoon, a one half teaspoon, one teaspoon, one half tablespoon and a tablespoon, one tablespoon. And then in the cups, it's got one fourth cup, one third cup, one half cup, two thirds cup, three fourths cup, and one cup, which I don't have any of the cups. I just have like a measuring like, um, a measuring cup with a whole bunch of measurements like on it instead of the actual this cup being the exact size that I need so I'm excited to have these for my cooking and stuff um because I do use my measuring spoons all the time but right now um the the writing was actually like painted on I got them from the Dollar Tree um, they're actually like, um, what brand are they? Like Betty Crocker brand or something like that. And the, the numbers are painted on and it's starting to scratch off. The, um, the teaspoon one, it's completely scratched off. There's just some white dots on it. So you can't read it at all. And I like that these are engraved in it so that they're not going to scratch off. So I'm excited about that. And there's also more here than I have from the Betty Crocker set that I got and there's cups. So I'm really excited about that. And for $3.50, I think that was a great price. Next up, these are also for cooking. I paid a dollar and it came with a set of two. And these go in your oil, your cooking oil. So you can put them in your olive oil bottles, which I have a little olive oil bottle. And um, I 
thinking you can put it in your like vegetable oil, canola oil kind of thing. And I have a bottle of that as well. So it comes with two and then you just pop it open, pour it in. So it makes it for easy, like light pouring. So it's not pouring out so fast, which is perfect, especially when you're trying to fill up a tiny like teaspoon or something. Um, yeah, you don't have globs of it coming out. You can just gently pour it in or whatever, or if you just need a tiny bit in your pan kind of thing. So I thought these would be perfect and for a dollar, why not right and they're so like easy to open and then easy to shut i love these and that is what the little insert part looks like so yeah why not right and last from this order this is also for cooking and for spices so let me show you let me go grab my spices. So there is an aisle in one of my grocery stores that it's like, it's called the Mexican aisle, I think, or the Spanish aisle. I don't know, but um, it's got all the Goya stuff and, you know, the, the salsa, the tortillas, all that kind of stuff. And they have bags, little bags of spices just like this for a dollar. And I thought, these are so nice for a dollar and you get pretty much around the same amount as you would in those little plastic bottles. So why pay more when I can just open these, take a little pinch out, but then I found this, which is reusable on Shein, Shein, Shein. What is that in there? I don't know, there's something gross in there. I'm not, I'm gonna wash this before I actually put these in there. But this is a four, a four thing, a four pack, four compartment spice shaker. Just like that. And I thought, I have a whole bunch of these little bags. Right now, I think I have four. So I'm gonna wash this and then I'm gonna fill these in here. And then it does come with labels, but not the correct labels of what I have. This says salt, some kind of pepper, cumin, pepper, chicken essence, and sugar. It says it like in, in Chinese and then under it says it in English, but I can just write on the bottom maybe, like I can get like a sticky, a blank one of these maybe and stick it on the bottom and write what it is. Um, or I can see if I can, just some kind of label, just so I know what's in there. But I thought that was a really neat idea. And if I get more bags of these, I can always just buy another one. And I, it is 350 and these are a dollar. So it's like, you're not saving money, but I am because if I continue to buy these, these are washable, reusable. I can just keep filling these up and then it's worth my money. All I all I need is like two because um, there aren't as many options in the little baggies as there are in the plastic bottles. So, but it saves me money. So I don't have to keep spending 350 or 250 or whatever on the bit on the plastic bottles of these. So, I'm excited. I'm excited to try this out. I'm excited for my new kitchen gadgets and all that. So that was the last thing. Oh no, this was only $3, $3, right? Yeah, $3, not $3.50. So I would spend, if I bought another one of these, I would only spend $6 altogether on something that I could use for a really long time. So, all right, so my last order, I spent eight, 29 and I used a dollar 68 in points and I am wearing one of these. So I decided to <laughs> to break down and buy some fake nails because there are days where I just don't feel like doing them, but I want something on my nails. Like yesterday was Easter. 
by the time this is out, it will have not been yesterday Easter, but I'm filming the day after Easter. So, um, and I wanted some nice nails, but I did not feel like taking the time to do them and all that. So I put on a set of fake nails and they looked really nice with my outfit. Um, I got compliments on them from my family, um, asking where I got them done. And I said, oh, they're just press on. So I was super excited. Um, and they look super pretty. So this is the first set that I got and I paid $2 for these. You get a set of 26, I believe. I don't know. I, I believe there's 26 in here. You get like four of each nail. So 10, maybe there's 20. But I think there's 26 because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Ten. Twenty. One, two, three. Okay, 24. There's a set of 24. Okay. So this comes with 24 nails. And this is what these look like. They're like um, flames. And I actually have a picture that I can post of, that I took of these yesterday. Just so you can see them a little more up close, but I thought they were pretty gorgeous. And you can reuse them. Um, I chose not to use these because I don't think that these work as well or well at all. These are like the jelly stick tabs. Um, and then this is a nail gel cleansing pad that it comes with. So I might venture out one day and try these and see how well these jelly tabs work. Let me know in the comments down below if you've used these tabs and if they work better than glue. But I just used some Kiss Stronghold glue. But yeah, that is the first set. I got four sets. So the, this set was $2 and they're pretty gorgeous and they don't look super fake on, just saying. The next set that I got, I spent $2.50 on and these are really, really cute. This is by, this one says Beautiful Nail. I got two sets with this, um, this, um, what do you call it? Brand name on it. So these are some really super cute cow nails. And I believe this is a set of 24 as well. So this one, again, comes with the jelly tabs. And it also comes with a little teeny nail file. And here are these nails. So there's um, just a typical cow design with um, white and black. And then there's really super cute um, pink and white. So I'm excited to try these out because those are really pretty. And these are also a little bit longer than these ones that I got. I tried to get like all different lengths because you know me, I like all different lengths. And these are about as long as I had my nails the last time that I did them. So yeah, really cute. Then this is the same brand. I spent $3 on these. And these are really cute as well. And these are just a little bit shorter than those cow ones. And they come, I believe, with the same gel tabs. But these don't come with this set doesn't come with the um the little the little little the little nail file. These are really cute daisies. And then this one, it's hard to see it through the plastic, so I'll take that one out. 
there's two little, actually they're all kind of accent nails in my opinion. This one's got a cute little French white design going on here. Not really French. It's like, but then there's a gold um, stripe. I showed you the wrong side. I dropped it. So it's got a, a gold stripe, really pretty, down there. And then I'll show you up close the little daisies. Really pretty, like I'm excited to wear these. And then this one's got like an ombre glitter to it. Gold glitter, so pretty. Like I'm really excited to wear this set. It's perfect for the spring with the flowers and all that. So that's gonna be nice to wear. And then last, last of the nails. I thought this set was gorgeous. These, these are Nail Nina, but they're adorable. So these are like more typical coffin shaped nails. And this set comes with Whoop. the sticky tabs again and the same little nail file and it looks like it was supposed to come with glue but I don't see the glue in there so but these ones oh my goodness so these are a little bit shorter than the ones that I'm wearing and they've got like a little more of that um, coffin shape at the top. So they come with all white. And then these really pretty like French tips, but it's down the side of white tip and nude bottom. And then these really pretty rhinestones all across where the tip is. I am so excited to wear these. They are gorgeous. I was actually debating on whether or not to wear these or these, but these went more with my outfit because my outfit was more relaxed. And then it's got a nude nail with a really pretty white bow on it. So I am excited. And I believe there's only two of the bow accent nails. Yes, only two of the bows. There are one, two, three, four, five. Why are there only five of those? Okay, so there's only five of these accent nails. You would think they would do an even number so you can put one on both hands, but... Um, Okay, but these were only $2. So for $2, I mean, with the rhinestones and the bows and all that, you can't, I can't really complain. You know, you would think that they would be a little more than that because of all the detail that's on them, but they weren't. But I'm super excited. I'm super excited to wear these. This is probably, um, These two are probably my favorite sets out of what I got. So I'm excited. I'm actually excited to try all of them, but um, yeah, it'll be perfect for when I just wanna do my nails in a pinch. Um, they're not as durable as obviously as acrylics um, and they pop off easily. I had to glue this nail on twice and there was another nail that popped off that I had to glue back on. But I mean, they're super easy to glue back on. You can use them again. I mean, they're gonna be a little, um, if you don't use the sticky tabs, they're gonna be a little like gross with some glue on the inside. But I mean, you can definitely get a couple uses out of them. So I'm excited. 
and they're super cheap. So even for one use, they're a lot cheaper than going out and getting acrylics and perfect for like just popping them on for a holiday or an outing or something like that. So, and you can change them whenever you want. But yeah, that is everything for this haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.